What is the absolute worst type of pain a human can experience? Today, we are counting down five of the most painful medical situations you can experience. And if you didn't catch my first video on the same topic, definitely check out that one to see what you've missed. All right, let's dive right in. Number five, cluster headaches. I want you to imagine a pain so intense that it feels like a hot poker stabbing behind your eye. Welcome to the world of cluster headaches. Often referred to as a suicide headache is a condition often described as one of the most painful experiences a human can endure. They are a series of excruciating headaches that occur in cyclical patterns or clusters, hence the name. Unlike the diffuse ache of a tension headache or the pulsating pain of a migraine headache, cluster headaches deliver a pain that is pinpointed yet overwhelmingly intense, typically around one eye or temple. The pain, described as burning, piercing, or as if the eye is being pushed out of its socket, is so severe that individuals usually can't sit still during an attack. They may pace, rock, or even bang their head against the wall in a desperate attempt to distract themselves from the pain, which, by the way, I do not recommend because it may lead to further injury. What unleashes this wave of torment? The exact cause remains a bit unclear but researchers do know that it involves the trigeminal nerve, the main nerve of the face responsible for transmitting sensation, and the hypothalamus, a deep part of the brain associated with the body's clock and that modulates several neurological systems. This area has been shown to be activated during cluster headaches. It's believed that they seem to be related to the sudden release of histamine or serotonin in the body. Alcohol use or smoking cigarettes could be a possible trigger of cluster headaches as well. Number four, shingles. Medically known as herpes zoster, shingles is a condition that's not just painful, but some say it's equivalent to being continuously burnt with a scolding hot iron. About one in three Americans will experience shingles at some point in their lifetime. So what are shingles like? To call it unpleasant would be a massive understatement. Imagine this, a band of blisters wrapping around one side of your torso, each blister filled with a liquid that seems to pulsate with pain. And these aren't just any blisters. They're the result of the varicella zoster virus, the same culprit behind chickenpox. Except this time, it brings along pain that can range from a constant dull uncomfortableness to burning sensation or even sharp electric-like jabs. How do you know if you have shingles? The shingles rash typically appears on one side of the body or face, respecting the midline like a forbidden boundary. This area becomes a battlefield with the sensations that can be so intense, even a gentle breeze or a touch of the clothing can feel excruciating. And something to keep in mind, this pain can show up before the rash shows up on your skin. And the pain isn't the only offering that shingles brings to the table either. It can also lead to fever, headache, fatigue, and sensitivity to light. Once diagnosed, the treatment for shingles can involve antiviral medication to combat the virus and pain management to try to ease the discomfort. As painful as it is, the itching sensation often associated with shingles can definitely be a nuisance Number three, bullet ant sting. Scientifically known as the Paraponera clavata, the bullet ant delivers the most potent sting of any insect on the planet. And on the Schmidt Pain Index, a scale that specifically measures the pain of insect stings, the bullet ant ranks as a clear four plus out of four. We're talking chart topping pain. I've even heard some reports that describe it as if you're walking over flaming charcoal with a three inch nail embedded in your heel after getting stung in the foot. What exactly makes this tiny creature sting so torturous? The bullet ant's venom contains paneratoxin, a neurotoxin peptide that affects voltage-dependent sodium ion channels and blocks a synaptic transmission in the central nervous system. It causes uncontrollable shaking, sweating, and an all-encompassing pain that can last hours on end. Victims of the sting have reported it's not just the intensity, but the ongoing duration of the pain that makes the experience so unbearable. What's also important about the bullet ant is the importance in the indigenous Seder Ma people of Brazil. They use the bullet ant in their warrior initiation rites. Basically, young men must wear a glove filled with these ants and endure the pain to prove their strength and readiness to become warriors. And it's used as a rite of passage to signify manhood in their culture. If you've ever had a run-in with a bullet ant or any other insect that gave you a gnarly sting, let me know about it. Also, let me know if you'd ever want to see a collaboration between my channel and Brave Wilderness.
Number two, appendicitis. Picture this, a small, seemingly insignificant organ tucked away in your lower right abdomen, quietly plotting its rebellion and secretly swelling. And if and when it decides to burst, the experience is nothing short of catastrophic. Let's back up the bus for a second and go over what the heck an appendix is. Put simply, it's a tiny pouch attached to your large intestine. And although it might seem unassuming, keep in mind that the entire digestive tract helps with our immune system and scientists and doctors think the appendix might be a place for our body to store different types of gut bacteria. If and when it becomes inflamed and ruptures, it's a medical emergency that can make even the bravest people out there cry in distress. The pain starts out as a vague, uncomfortable, dull sensation around the middle part of your abdomen. But as the condition worsens, it sort of migrates to the right lower quadrant with a sharp wave of wrath. And although the pain is bad, we have to talk about the meat of the problem here. The fact that this is an emergent situation. Once your appendix bursts, it unleashes a violent, forceful flow of fecal matter and other bacteria into your abdomen, leading to a condition called peritonitis. This is an inflammation of the abdominal cavities lining that can be fatal if not treated quickly. So what's the treatment? Surgery. Known as an appendectomy, this procedure involves removing the treacherous appendix before it can cause any more damage. And although the recovery process isn't as long as, say, healing from a broken femur, it does involve its own challenges, including managing post-surgical pain and the risk of infection. Number one, second and third degree burns. Ever brushed your hand against a hot stove or gotten too close to a campfire? That sudden jolt of pain is something you probably won't forget. But what if that fleeting moment of agony didn't fade away after a few seconds, but rather lingered, deepened, and even evolved into something more intense and unbearable? This is the intense world of second and third degree and even fourth degree burns, a realm where pain doesn't just peak, it can live with you forever. Second and third degree burns burns take the concept of a bad burn to new severe levels. We're talking about skin that doesn't just turn red, but instead chars and can cause damage deep beneath the surface, affecting nerves, muscles, and even bones. Second degree burns bring blisters, swelling, and pain so sharp and persistent, it feels like the burn is happening over and over again. And third degree burn? That's a league of its own. The burn site may look white, charred, or even weirdly unblemished due to nerve damage that's so extensive and in some instances, the third or fourth degree burn may not hurt at all. The path to recovery, well, that's where the real pain sets in. Treating these burns is no small feat. It's not just about soothing the surface, it's about preventing infection, managing pain, and repairing the deep damage to the skin and tissues. For second degree burns, this might mean special dressings, creams, and a whole lot of patience. But for third and fourth degree burns, the journey can include surgeries, skin grafts, and an extended extended stay in a burn unit. What's the most painful thing you've ever experienced? Also, check out my new supplement company called Life Happens. What other excruciating conditions do you want me to break down and explain next? Let me know in the comments. And please smack that subscribe button, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.